104.5 The Team, LeVac and Wolf. We are joined by our good friend from the Golf Channel and uh, and NBC Sports Golf, Gil Caps. Follow him on Twitter, at Gil Caps. Gil, what's the story of day two of the Masters? What's the big thing you're following around right now? Weather, and in particularly, actually weather, it's a beautiful day. It's probably 70 degrees, bright sunshine, those, those kind of uh, high, wispy clouds, and it looks nice from outside. The problem is when you step outside today, you know, it's a pretty consistent wind of of 12 to 15 with gusts, you know, 25 and maybe a little a little higher. So very difficult playing conditions down here at Augusta National today, guys. And, you know, when it's all said and done, you know, we could have, you know, around a half dozen guys shoot under par today, maybe lower, and it's going to be one of one of the toughest days scoring-wise that we've seen uh, here at the Masters in, in quite a while. Now, do you think the weather's going to help Ernie Els today? No. <laughs> it will not help her. <laughs> Is there anything that can help Ernie Els right now? Yeah, and, and you know, I, I think that, you know, one of the reasons I guess that captures everybody's imagination is because, right, all of us guys who and gals who play golf, you know, and aren't very good at it, we've, we've been there. Oh, yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. We've been on a golf, tough, tough golf course, and we've hacked it around a good bit, you know, and we've had those tough hole occasions. We've putted by the hole and we set it back by it again and and so we can really fill and and commiserate with with ernie but uh, he he i think he's been having a little little better today uh day on the greens but he's he's been struggling with that putter and 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 with i, I don't really want to say that that four letter word that begins with, with the y because that's you know that that's the four letter word in golf you don't want to say it if you have it yep and, you know and, and and putting on the greens but he's been struggling with the putter for for a while, and it's been the real big bugaboo in his game, and has really, um, you know, has really affected the rest of his game as well. But, but, but hopefully, Ernie will bounce back and uh, can get the ball in the hole a little better here moving forward. And Gil, when when we talk about golf now, you know, the question has always been there oh, since Tiger's decline: Do we have a guy who can carry a tournament? Do we have that that almost rock star out there? Is Jordan Spieth that rock star? I mean, we yeah. all thought back in the day, right? We're gonna, you know, we need to tiger-proof these golf courses, and we need to either make them longer, or bring in the fairways, or do this and do that. But you know, how do you do that for a guy? Would you do that? You really you wouldn't do it for one player, but you know, in jest, how would you do that for a guy like Jordan, who's as good as he is all around with every kind of facet, you know, of his game? Um, you know, it'll, it'll be interesting here at the end of the day where. Where he stands, because if he's able to bring it home, you know, you know, around level par for the day, I mean that that's going to be compared to the course average. It's going to be two, three, four shots below the course average. He's going to have a, you know, I would think a pretty, pretty sizable, sizable lead, and and see how they carry it onto the weekend. Where have the uh, fan crowds been the most, uh, you know, the most uh, attentive and active at the Masters? You know, when you come here, there's there's a certain uh, reverence for the older. The older players and the older champions, and I would say Phil Mickelson would probably fall uh, fall in that category. But you know, I mean, Jordan just beat down. I mean, Jordan's a guy now. He's he's a superstar, and I think you know he would be you know a guy come the weekend. I mean, you, you wouldn't find a lot of people out on the golf course pulling against him. That's for certain. Gil Caps joins us. You can follow him on Twitter at Gil Caps one zero four five. The team Levac and Wolf. Gil, with, with this weather, you said that's the big story. Yeah. Who have you seen suffering the most because of the conditions? I, I would say the top of the list of a guy who I would think the weather probably affected more than anybody else is Bubba Watson. You know, Bubba shot seventy five yesterday. He shot another seventy five today. Probably going to miss the cut unless. You know the wind just really gets crazy, and the scores really get high uh, uh, here, uh, finishing up. But but Bubba's a guy I think who, when it gets real windy, um, you know things kind of affect Bubba differently than than other people, and and the way he plays his game as well doesn't necessarily uh, uh, favor you know really windy conditions. What kind of player do you think these conditions do favor, and, and who in that field is is proving that? You know, a couple of guys I thought who it may favor would be guys who are really good ball strikers or guys who can hit the ball low and really control trajectory and manage their way around the golf course. I mean, I think Jordan Spieth would be one of those guys. I think a couple other guys that come to mind 
before the tournament started was Sergio Garcia yep. and Brant Snedeker, and both those guys are uh, are up near the top of the leaderboard and should should be in contention this weekend. And I'd I'd keep an eye on both of them, and then you know. Rory McIlroy is, you know, is going to be hanging around as well. You know, and this is, I think people still in the game, if you took, you know, every good player and ranked them upon ability and talent, that Rory's still going to be at the top of that list. And if he has his driver going, which he struggled with some this year, if he gets that going, you know, he has such an advantage being down the middle 300 yards on these golf holes. I, I kind of equate it to giving the ball to an elite NFL offense every time at the 50-yard line, whereas, you know, Jordan Speed, look, Jordan's a great player, but with his ability off the tee, you know, he's starting those drives back at his own 30 or on 25 every time. It's just a huge advantage for Rory, and, and you know, it would it would be history if he were to win this weekend. I got him the sixth player ever to win the career Grand Slam. Gil Caps joins us right here on 104.5 The Team. Uh, you can check him out on Golf Channel and uh, associate producer, NBC Sports Golf. Uh, Gil, you're, you're live there. The wind, I can hear it in the background. Uh, it, what's going on with our boy Phil Mickelson? Everybody that, that I, I listened to you know, kind of picked him to you know, do that feat, to be the 46-year-old to win the Masters possibly this time, and it just doesn't look right right now. Is that just the weather or is his game a little off? Well, we still have a long way to go. We still have another 36 holes here on the weekend. No, I think he's playing really well. I mean, a lot of people would probably say that really windy conditions don't favor Phil's game because he's a high ball uh, uh, hitter, you know, likes to spin the ball a lot. Um, but, you know, he, guys, he's been playing so well this year, and he kind of fit the mold of guys who've been in contention, been kind of right there, but hadn't peaked yet. You know, leaves the PGA Tour and – in scoring average, you know, top 10 in both strokes gain tee to green and strokes gain putting, the only player on tour, uh, tighten the top 10 in both those categories. And, and with his, his experience, I, I, I think experience plays a big deal here at Augusta National, not only on the golf course, but off the golf course and how you come into the week and how you play your practice rounds and, and how you approach things. And, and Phil he comes here and he's all business. You know, where a lot of these guys come in the first time, and it's like kind of going to Disneyland the first time. And so I think that gives guys like Phil a huge advantage, and I would I would not count him out this weekend. Although it would be really great to see, you know, Spieth, the, the new guy, versus uh, Mickelson, the, the veteran. Yeah, the battle of the ages. What do you think is going to happen on Sunday? I think a lot depends upon whether we're supposed to get – Similar conditions tomorrow with a lot of wind. It's supposed to be cooler, uh, and even a I, I think a uh, a froster uh, a frost warning for Sunday morning. So uh, the conditions are going to going to be trying. I mean, I at this point it looks like Jordan Spieth's tournament, you know, to lose. Um, but we've seen stranger things uh, stranger things happen happen in golf. But if Jordan doesn't win. And then come home with the title on Sunday. I think it would uh, it, it would be a pretty big blow to him, and obviously a great a great victory to whoever whoever winds up winning. Gil Caps right here on 104.5 The Team. I call you Mr. Major because when I hear your voice, I know we're covering the uh, the majors as far as golf goes. Uh, thank you so much for your time, Gil. And uh, if if uh, if it's all right with you, we're going to bug you again when the big ones come up. Sure, absolutely. Look forward to talking with you guys again. Thank you, Gil. Thanks, Gil.